Hi everyone, thank you for joining my YouTube tutorial today. This lesson is inspired by Professor Carl Nell, who I was fortunate enough to have this kind of lesson with um, many years ago at the University of the Witwatersrand. So the idea behind this is to ask ourselves a whole lot of questions and then try and figure out how we symbolize in our minds and our imaginations and our memories and thoughts the answers to these questions. So as I've explained before, we all have different ways of expressing ourselves. We all have different memories that influence the way we see things. And we have um, different experiences. And this all affects how we choose to symbolize these things. So take out some drawing um, mediums. So you might choose charcoal, colored chalk, cokies, or felted pens, if you might want to call them that pencils. Um, it would be nice to have access to some color. So, like I said, um, some colored chalk or cookies. I'm going to um, ask you the questions fairly quickly because I would like you to find the symbol as quickly as you can. The first thing that comes to your mind, draw it. And then we're going to come back to what you have um, drawn on your piece of paper and analyze it and decide what you would like to make into a bigger picture. So, or a more elaborate, detailed picture. So we're using this to um, investigate um, our symbols and find ones that really stick with us and really move us and we're really interested in pursuing more deeply. So I'm gonna just give you a few seconds per question and I'll need you to draw it as quickly as you can. The first thing that comes into your mind. So you'll need a nice large piece of paper or a whole lot of smaller pieces of paper and lots of space that you can just push things around in. Okay, I hope that you're all ready. And I'm gonna start off. Draw a symbol of South Africa. Draw your symbol of your emotion right now. Draw your symbol of how you feel about South Africa. Draw your symbol for your home. Draw your symbol for the president. Draw a symbol of your intimate relationships. Draw a symbol of your best friend. A symbol for your relationship with your children, past, present, future or imagined. A symbol of your education. A symbol of your culture. A symbol for your passions.
a symbol of your money. A symbol of your parents. And then your siblings. A symbol of your dreams. A symbol of your relationship with food. A symbol of your mental health. A symbol of your physical appearance. A symbol of who you are. A symbol of your greatest fear. And now your greatest desire. Draw a symbol of happiness. Draw a symbol of sadness. A symbol of death. A symbol of sleep. A symbol of the future. And a symbol of the past. Now I'd like you to go carefully through all your pictures that you've drawn and identify the ones that you feel really strongly that you strongly gravitate towards. They might be, um, the iconography might be strong for you, the colors, the textures, or whatever it is that you've put on the page that you feel that you resonate with. And then I would say choose three or four and just try and elaborate them a little bit because you didn't have much time during the process. So just elaborate on them a bit and then you're going to refine your choice to one that you're now going to make into a larger artwork. And we'll talk about that in the next session. Okay, thank you.